do, do, do. All right. We are in. We are live. How are y'all doing? Good. It's Friday. Happy Friday. So there's that. Um, hopefully you're doing good. And if you're not doing good, well, let's change that. Hopefully we'll turn that around before the weekend. All right. So here we were. Um, let's just hop straight back into what we were doing yesterday. Um, here's the ship. I remember saying that I wanted to extend this out. Let's actually do a real quick tour and see what things we can tweak and change and remove and all that stuff. Because we need we need to do some of that. We need to do some cutting. Um, editing is probably the best way to put this. Um, I think this room is okay. Uh, we could probably move this armor locker somewhere. And this seems like just decoration. So we could just get rid of that altogether. Let's do that now, actually. Yeah, there we go. Bye-bye. We can move this fridge over here and then the armor locker back over here, so... Let's get that done. That way we are cooking. And yeah, we got this going on. And this... Oops. Forward. Forward. Uh, this can go right here, I suppose. That way anyone going downstairs, like going to leave the ship, for example, has access to their armor locker right there. Um, actually, let's look here. Do we need to do anything here? Um, not really. I think the space is okay. Down here, let's get rid of this. Let's just let's just replace this with actual decoration, rather than a crew. Like, do we does that do anything? If so, we probably don't want that because we want the player to have full agency over the operation of their ship. Uh, I'm still unhappy with this layout, and I realize now that does something need to be above the repair bay? Because if not, we can place it underneath the repair console. I think this is just required to be connected to the ship, if that makes sense. So, like, we should destroy this block and put this block underneath it. Although it's a bit more open, so... Which makes it kind of a liability, like if it gets shot in combat, then it then repairing the ship becomes that much harder. But what this does is give us space. And what I want to do here is go back to the the shutter idea. So have this in the corner here, and then the entire shutter here. And by doing this, we can have... Where's our... Oh, there it is. We have the O2 station here, like so. And this repair station can be facing in this direction. We could also swap these two so that they're actually next to each other. Um, and then the O2 station can just sit maybe here. It's kind of in the way if we put all right, so let's let's remodel this first, and and then go from there. This is going to have to. I was going to say this might have to come out. Unless we want the door to be on the inside here. Uh, let's put the. Mm, We're going to need those, and we're going to need armored auto doors. This guy. Let's get two by two shutters yet again. And then this fella, which will make armored single door right.
Okay, we're still on the ramp. Good. I think this is okay. It was kind of weird because it's cut in, but that's okay. It might be nicer if it was flush, but then we have this ramp sticking out here, and that I don't know if that's good. I feel like it's more protected too. So I think we're good with that. It is kind of blocky up here, but that's okay because we're going to extrude it out. Kind of give it some some lines in this direction like this. Uh, but we'll do all that styling later. For now, let's complete stuff that we intend to complete. Let's get some armored glass. Oops. Let's do these guys first. Bloop. And these guys. Can I see things? I think that's, yep, that's the right side. All right, there we go. I think that looks much better. Yeah, it looks much better because it's it's paralleling these lines, which we're going to continue to parallel over here. So it's starting to come together, kind of. I also want to cut into this one. Um, I mean like this. And then either we put ramp C here, which that doesn't look all that great, or we put stubby ramp A, also doesn't look all that great. I think we just do regular, or we do ramp B. Mm -hmm. I think I think ramp A has the best lines, because it still keeps that that angle. Oop. That angle right there, which is what we want. Okay, I think there might be one too many containers here, so let's pull one way. Oh, we can't do this one, shit. That's right, because this is open to that. Um, we tried that yesterday, and I um, can't believe I made that mistake again. <laughs> Maybe we delete this one. I feel like it's in a really good space. I feel like it should probably be there. So it is ne right next to the, you know what I mean? So that someone, a player can stand here, use the constructor and then go back and forth if they need to, right? It shouldn't be necessary, but. I just, I just think that's a much better layout. Problem is now they're not connected. Unless we put another block here, which is quite a lot of storage. Not gonna lie. What we could do is take these two out. Now we can take this one out and connect them and have the player connect them later. Like they can opt to have like what if we remove this one and imply a different container here? Like the ore and wood container could go there. 
and we can imply that tacitly by having a cargo box. Like so. I like this one best. It just looks nicer. Because it's got a variance of three different kinds of, uh, four different kinds of cargo box. So. So yeah, because it's mirror, like, it's empty, but it's mirrored here. So there's, there's an implication that there is a controller that goes here. Yep. Okay, okay. I like this. And that it still allows this to be expanded into two more. That's plenty of container. This guy we need to move. I don't like it here. Oop. Where do we put it here? It feels kind of intrusive, doesn't it? First walking in, you're like, whoop, straight to the O2. We could set it into here. And then just surround it in glass. I really would have preferred the O2 station to be an actual full cube. Rather than this, whatever this is. Because it's asking to be put into an alcove. I wish that also hit the ceiling so that it looks like one giant thing. But c'est la vie. Like, it would be nice if it was here, right? If this O2 station was here, but also that you couldn't see through the rear out to uh, here. Like so. So walking in, although you can't see it very well, so it's probably better over here. Like if we did something like this. Oops. Oh, we can't place it there because this is now a block. Get rid of this. Right, like so. And then this one can be this. So that we have visual access to it. Um, we just have to do something here, which is just block it up. We could use a plate, but that's kind of ugly. And it wastes this space. I mean, so now it's like sticking out a bit. We could cover it up like this, but then it wastes all like all four spaces because this takes up an entire thing. But it's blocked off technically; it just doesn't look great. What we could do is replace we could replace all of this with glass. But we can't replace it with glass. Unless we have full full square glass. Which we don't have. Oh, actually, we could do this. Um. And the reason why it's a problem is because we don't have people. Like, if we put glass here and here, no problem. It becomes, becomes a problem here on this L side and that L side. Um, but since we have. These guys. I could do something like that. Oh, like that, like that. I 
It doesn't quite flush with this one because this one is on this side and just kind of crappy. Okay. So let's see this through. I have, mm, we can't do that. It has to be on this side. Because now this looks weird, right? Most people probably won't notice, but I'll, I'll notice. I think that's the only way to actually do this. If we do a lower level... Oh, we can't do it on this side though because of the gravity generator. This thing really takes up too much space. I wish we didn't have to use it. I mean, theoretically, we still don't. We can just get rid of it. And then we can shorten our ship by one, maybe two squares. Uh, I want to know if shields are necessary. I mean, because like, if this is going to be used in PvP, then probably... Um... Actually, let's look it up. Let's look it up. I need to look. I need to find out. So, Imperium ship shields necessary. We'll see if that leads us anywhere. Okay, so you pretty much need it for PVE as well. I personally haven't gotten to that point in the game. So I don't know why, but all right, fine. We need shields. Sorry, you gotta stay. But then we're stuck with this mess. I think those walls just have to stay, unfortunately. That's just what we gotta deal with. But it, like putting interior walls here wastes the space so much, so much. I like that it's there. It's not in the way and it's there. Alternatively, we can put the elevator here on this side. But that screws up this layout. So that's, that's going to be a no. I think we're just going to have to deal with this. We could put one of these because they're relatively thin. And actually, if we're going to do that to this side, we may as well do that to this. And we can put something else here, maybe another armor locker. You know? So there's one up here, Oops, over here, and another one down here. Would that make sense, kind of? Sure. Sure. Where's our armor lockers? 
So at least the space isn't completely wasted, you know what I mean? We could put something here? No, we can't. We can't. This thing is so frustrating. If only it wasn't quite so large, you know. Warp drive, doot doot doot. Okay, what's next? What's next on the chopping block? I think the space is good. Okay, we may have to switch this to a T3. Um, just because we're about to put on a bunch of uh, thrusters. That's going to be quite expensive. But we'll see. Let's put these out there first. Before we fall off, let's activate that. Then accidentally got rid of him. So let's put small maneuvering thrusters um, all over the all over the place. Let's see where where's the warning thing? Probably on that side. That's good. Bye, me. One there. And one there. We'll put two. Not in that direction. Like so. Let's do it in the, the same thing on this side. Oh, this is a problem, because, well, no, maybe not. I was going to put, um, what do you call that, ramps here, but I could probably put trusses here instead to kind of protect these. Okay, let's cut into the back here. Um, actually, no, do we need to do that? Okay, maybe we put these on the back instead of here. Well, I want to put quite a few more actually here. Um, we definitely want some of the nose. This is probably into components. So we probably want this to be... Oh, no, we're good. So let's...
this is it's, it's in two components. Okay. Let's put facing the wrong way again. Put one here. One here. One face down and one face in. Oops, I did that fucking thing again. There we go. I wonder if smalls are too small for this ship. The problem is, um, mediums stick out. Let's actually sit in the chair for a sec. It's not too bad. Okay, let's put two. Where do we put two at? We can put two. Actually, we're need four, aren't we? Let's put another two here, and then up, up top, and then one more probably here. Although we can't put... Oh, we could. If we put two right here, or maybe two like this. Here, let's demo. Let's, let's, let's may, we may as well line it up. So one there, one here, or one here. Like right above the door. Is that a component? Yes. You can put one of these up here. And we can probably put this one here. And then we can do a similar line right here. One, two, three, four. And you see where the warning label is, if there is one. Doesn't have one. Nice. Okay. I just realized something. This could be a problem because we want to put wings here, kind of. I think I want it to flare out a little bit. I want it to come out like this and then down. So this, these sideways, these side thrusters actually need to, we need to put them out on the wing rather than on the side here. Ah, okay, I'll to undo all these.
Oh, should stay. I wonder if these should go. I think these are okay. Okay, now as for these, we're going to want them up front. Do we do thruster slant? I think we do th slant, yeah. This looks much nicer. Um, like so. You can literally put the railguns right next to them. Uh, Vipens, uh, pulse rocket drill. We only have pulse lasers? No, that can't be. Yeah, I think that is all we can do. I think pulse lasers are unlock level 25. That's not happening. Unlock level 20? Shit, that sucks. So it's going to have to be turrets. Unlock level 25. Unlock level 7. Rocket turrets 12, 20. Okay, let's look at how big these guys are first. Let's put these away. These away. Not small. But we can put a... One of these on the bottom. Like the bottom of the nose, like this. And then a rocket up on top, maybe. Okay, let's 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 put it to the test. Oh shit! So we can put one here. We need one more, like so. Nice little uh. Duck bill we got going on there. So we put a rocket one up top. And a cannon one below. This, this is like the best we can do because we don't have guns, right? I would prefer guns. We just don't have access to that. I mean, we've got yeah, we got turrets, but not... See, we need that. Oh, there's a group of blocks. Oh. oh retractable. Minigun turrets. You need to access this turret using the control panel, either from the cockpit or a passenger seat. Oh my god, that's a lot. So let's look at these first. Actually, we can cut these two pieces to give it a more slim kind of form factor. Um, retractable? Oh, it takes an entire chunky chunk. So, nope. Do I do cannons or miniguns? Or rockets? Okay. Good point. Thank you. Let's look at the rockets. What do they got? Flak turret? Oh shit, yeah. Oh shit, yeah, that has to happen.
I think we put that up somewhere else. And actually, we can probably use the retractable version and just put it up here somewhere, right? Can we center it? Yes, we can. Okay, so we put... Man, both of these look nice. Cannons or miniguns? We can do both. Actually, we can do both. Let's put a minigun on top. And a cannon on the bottom. Okay, now how do you control them? That's not it. It said through a passenger seat. It's kind of weird, right? Why would it be through a passenger seat? Oh, it's probably, um, I, I think I understand now. No, I don't, I don't want that. I want this. Using the control panel. So, where are the control panels? Like so. Edit sign content. This is just a sign, not a control panel. Also, I'm curious about this personal cargo box. Like, it says it has volume. Is that just... You just have it? Hold on. Let's... I kind of want to place one somewhere just to see what it's all about. Here, just temporarily. Um, like, you can't in interact with it, but maybe. Cargo box three. Yeah, okay, personal cargo box here. It's basically a small container. Okay, all right. Don't really need it. Okay, well, we do need con control panels. Where is that found? Got it. Details control screen. Gotcha, I see. What? Allows to show high decals linked to this device based on its on off state.
that's nothing. How do you then connect this to that? Maybe you have to attach a block to it specifically. You know what I mean? Okay, hold on. Let's... Like this. Maybe I'm misunderstanding this. All right, let's activate and group. Oh, okay. So do I have to add this to the turret group? Like so. So okay, let's pull this back. Let's put a regular box there. Let's put a... one of these guys on there. Now let's move this. Into turret. And let's actually move seat. Right? This does nothing. All right, we're gonna have to look up what that that is. For now, let's remove that. Let's remove that. Let's fill this back in, and uh, we'll figure this out in a sec, some other time. Right now, let's. I say we put a rocket turret up here. Maybe in this 3x3. Three three. Now in the book there isn't a turret. And maybe this might be too much. Um, put this stuff away. And let's continue with the engine stuff. I think what we need to do is have... We have two... Hmm, this, this feels like it's way too big for this ship. Uh, what's the output here? Well, the CPU is quite a, quite a lot, so no, we're not going to do that. We 
I could just do a bunch of M thrusters. Whoop. I could just do a line of them. Like five and then three, like so. Do we extrude them out or do we make them the wall? I think we make them the wall. Which makes them inherently risky. Um, because obviously hitting them will cause... Hitting them and destroying them will be able to reach right in. But um, I think that's okay. Let's do angle up. Now, alternatively, we can put these out one, right? And then put these ones that are down here up against... I mean, technically, there's going to be armor on top of it and probably on the sides of it, so it's not too big of a deal. But still, I think let's do this. them here. Then I want these ones uh, to be in. Probably, yep, these three. Like so. That's, that's just way too many engines, but I think that's okay. Um, let's look at our energy usage. Oh, we're still we're still good. So I think I still think we should swap to a tier three CPU. Let's get rid of this guy. Should probably look up. Uh, how CPU extenders work too before I do any of this. Before I go too too hardcore in this. Uh, what's a better looking? Is this a good side? Yeah, because it's got this. What's the other side look like? Ooh. All glowy and circuity. Now, this, this is obviously the presentation side. Um, Because, you know, little daughters. Okay, so let's. I'll do a quick search since I'm not I'm not sure. Imperian uh CPU extender. How do they work? They must be adjacent to controller and they can only be adjacent to one controller. Okay. Oh, you need multiples of the same. You need two tier three CPUs to upgrade to a tier three, which is what? Also says you don't need to have all the previous tier CPU upgrades to get the next one. Oh, that makes sense now, like why it's got two. That's strange. Okay, so what do we do here? Do we delete this? Oh, open space. We can't delete that. Okay, so we're stuck with this. Right?
Gee, it would be nice if it showed what the actual health is while I'm in this menu. So could I now have two T2 expend extenders? But I don't think that's how it works. I don't think having two of them will add. Okay, all right, well, we're stuck with this, so this is all we can do. Um, so, our energy needs, oh man, we can't really, so we can't actually do much expansion here, can we? Not with a CPU. Unless we pushed forward. Right, we'll have to... We'll have to armor up like that. And that should allow us to, yeah. So I think we just imply that CPUs go here, or extenders can go here. But it's either two tier threes now or never. I think we just imply it. I don't think there's a need for us to actually do this, you know what I mean? Or we can put a tier three now unused um, obviously, they would have to remove the tier two and put in their own tier th tier three. Let's let's. Hmm. I think we're okay for now. We may have to take off this guy. Take so long. Is there like a shift delete or something like that? I think there is. Hold on. Uh, let's get rocket turrets back. Gotta select it and then shift. Right click, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, that's nice. Seal this back up. What's our energy usage now? Uh, it's went down a little bit, but not that much, so... What's the usage here? Doesn't say. <laughs> I'm sure it uses CPU, it just doesn't say. There's no way it wouldn't, right? Let's look in here, actually. Yeah, 2500, so it's not too shabby. Protected turrets. 
Oui. All right, let's uh, start doing the hood. There we go. That's first part done. We'll have to do all that here too, but... Um, we start doing that now, maybe? I think here it needs to be... Like so. Then we should be able to put... Um... Maybe ramp C mediums here. No, that's the wrong angle. It needs to be ramp D's. Okay, that's fine. This is going to be a thick owl wing. We could use, um, instead of steel, we could use carbon composite to create the wings, but then anything that's going to be on those wings are going to get easily shot off. It's not really wings, too. Maybe we hollow this out, or some of it anyways, and put carbon composite here to keep it light. To keep it light and not quite so... so steely. <laughs> Actually, what we can do is also figure out how this is going to be shaped. This probably needs to go... Because that's too aggressive, like, on the front. Oop. I should probably use this one. No. Uh, this one. No, not that one. Um, okay, actually we don't have an option. Actually, no, yes, we do. It has to be two different, uh, two different parts, like so. Yep. All right, and then this can taper in. Well, let's figure this part out first. Let's use ramp A double again. Um, Actually, it's hollow though. Wait, let's actually do this. So it's easier for us. Yeah, there we go. We just, just shift right click. And then we can fill it in with this. Actually, this bottom one probably will... S no, let's fill it in. Let's see how far we can get. All right, now let's do like so. It's not really going to be much of a wing, to be perfectly honest. 
Um, it's just going to flare out a bit and then come down she start, uh, starkly. It's going to come down steeply. Sorry, this is steep. It's going to come down smoothly. Just kind of figuring out the overall pattern right now. Although this should be that one as well. No. I don't think we have an option for this. But let's let's keep going and see how see what happens. Um Let's figure out the rear first and then work on this front because you have to work around the entrance. Uh, let's see. Let's put regular squares here. And we do P's. Whoa. Sorry, not P's, A's. Like so. And then C's here. So you got a little bit of flaring out there. I think maybe this is too prominent. Like this is longer than this. I mean, honestly, too, we can just put a bunch of. Oh, I hate that. Like, if you if you're in this menu and you're moving forward at the same time, you're stuck moving forward. Like this forever until you turn that off. Okay, so we can continue this trend this way. Okay, that feels much better. Much, much better. Oops. Can put that there. I should want to put a one of these guys here. We could put a D right on top of it. There, that kind of hides and protects this this fella. I think we'll put trusses on, on in front of these, uh, just to kind of keep them from getting immediately shot up. We'll also need to put thrusters here at some point. So probably here and here. Oh, that interrupts the uh, the lines, doesn't it? Let's also start filling this out. Now, do we want ramp A's here? What the? So, like, it'll just be like this straight down ramp. Maybe we've got this this thing here that's kind of keeping us. Uh... How does that look? How's that? Is that okay? Look weird. Let's get in the uh, captain's chair. Got that little lip hanging there. Maybe not so much. It's a bit too too proud. 
Yeah, I think this is good. Um, I wonder if we could also bring this. No, we can't because this is in the way. But that's as far forward as we can go. Anyways, back to this. Yeah, let's complete styling this and then cut into it where we need to put thrusters. Um, I'm going to need corners. We're going to need longer corners, corners than that. Uh, probably going to end up using these A2s. No, just A3s and... Yeah, like so. Now let's focus on top side. Uh, this is actually good. We don't have to do anything here uh, for now. We may just remove these and do something else. Uh, we need to fix this. How though? How do we fix this portion? The blocks. These guys? No, can't be those guys. It has to be cut corner C. Oh, these aren't going to fit very well at all. Yeah, it can't be this. It has to be... That's not going to fit at all. Um, just because of the way this is shaped, can't actually fit anything. Well, I mean, we don't have to. We don't exactly have to follow those lines specifically. Um, we just have to stay either inside, like this, similar to this, but that's not actually going to work. We'll have to do a uh, notch here on the right, like this. And this fits a little bit better. Like, what are we, what's our solution here? Because cut corners aren't going to cut it. They're much too large. These ramp connectors might work. Like so, but that's actually that's not going to be on this side. Oh, that actually fits there. Oh. Let's use that. I should put a block here. Oh, cube, sorry. Bloop. Oh. 
because then we can put where's this guy this this guy right here that doesn't look bad not at all is that a smooth no it's not a smooth transition we're probably gonna need we probably can't get a smooth transition with this um unless we use this No, it's not wide enough. We're going to need... I don't think any of these will fit. Alright, this is fine. It still looks relatively okay. Like so. This is obviously a bit of a problem, but I think actually we don't need anything there. We can like put vents or lights or something. Now in theory we could extend this out. By putting something like this ramp seal low. All right, so let's just take a look at it. It's probably not going to look good. Uh, ramp seal low. No, ramp C medium. Then we could put this guy on there. It's not bad, but it's not great either. I like this better. Because it follows these the parallel lines. I do like that they start to diverge from this point. All right, anyways, let's put something here. Um, let me go here. What goes hither? Um, one, of one of these, probably, huh? C? No. Wait, yes. That's not going to fit like that. We're going to need something like... See, we need an inverted version of corner C here. But I don't think such a thing exists. I mean, this should, but it's not... See what I mean? Like, no matter what we do. Well, we could put it... No, it's not going to work either. I don't, have, I don't think we have many options there. This one? Yeah, we can probably do this just to kind of fill it fill it in. Like so.
than what goes here. Like one of these? No. Nope, that's not going to work at all. It would have to be... Not that, that's a little too large. Same with that, it has to be this one. I'll probably go there too. And that will probably go there too. So basically all of these corners are going to be this guy. Bloop, bloop, bloop. But I don't want to put just triangles in there. I want to extrude them, if that makes sense. So let's do uh, these corner halves. Like so. Is that weird looking? I think it's a bit too much. Like it might be good here and here, but this middle one, no. It's too much repetition, so let's put a regular triangle there. Did I just have it? Did I? Oh, here. Wait, it can't be that one. It has to be... Like so. This one feels a little premature. Like, I think I want to bring this forward one. Let's make this a ramp. What was this part? Actually, before we do that, let's put this ramp here. Uh, here. Let's put these pieces in there. Oh, it's a cut corner. Oh, no. It was quarter half. B, yeah. Like so. And core small C. Okay, that gives it a little bit of aggression. This might be too much aggression, to be perfectly honest. Uh, maybe we cut these out like so. This can be, this can mirror whatever's up here. Because again, this isn't supposed to be a, a combat ship necessarily. It's just supposed to be a, a all-rounder mercenary ship. I think I'm okay with these lines. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with these lines thus far. Okay, so this one we do cube and then 
Ramp A. And Ramp C, medium. That way we kind of have sort of a similar vibe to what's going on up here. Um, we'll also want to probably mirror that down there. So we'll probably want to fill them this space with cubes. Oop. Okay, ramp here. Let's probably should do ramps all the way to the end here. Like so. Oh wait, no, it needs to be these. Oops, we do. So we should actually put ramp a doubles. Okay, so how do we fade this in now? That's going to be a different angle altogether. Um, I guess first we're going to need this one. No, that's not gonna be that's not gonna work. Actually No, that's not gonna work. Um I think we have to rely on these again. No, we can't use that either. Um, because it has to be something like... It has to be one of these three. It has to be. There's no other... Oh, wait. We can use this sliced corner? No. Not... That's not high enough. It needs to be, yeah, one of these three. But probably this one. Let's put this on this side now before we forget. Uh, is it here? Or is it beneath this? Good shit, yeah. Let's put these ramp base doubles here. And then taper this guy in. Let's start doing that with this. Ooh, and it matches. Um. So maybe we pull this back one, and then start tapering it in early. It'll look a little. It'll look a lot different from the, from what's up here. No, I, th I think this is good. This is good. Let's put this corner small. Nope, not that one, sorry. Corner small C. Yep. Gives it kind of like a boat vibe, but I, I think it's okay. Uh, I think that is perfect.
what do we have here? We have a uh, ramp A, ramp C. Oops. Okay. That looks very not bad. I don't hit it. Could also round this off. So let's put in cubes. Cubes? Or do we put in ramp A's? Put in ramp A's. This can be a just a regular ramp. Uh, let's put C. Oops. Ah, oh, yes, all the wait. Oops. There we go. That's a bit better. So we can just put regular ramps here and here. There we go. Now we, we have a nice pronounced nose. Yeah, I'm mostly okay with this. I am mostly okay with this. Let's change this. Let's add those ramps to kind of mirror these lines. Um, let's put blocks all up in here. Maybe not all up, but these guys here. Maybe we put ramps here. Yeah, I like that. I like bots. This layer could also be ramps. Let's actually let's try it out. Let's just see what it looks like. Like so. Then we'd have to remove this, of course. Yeah, I'm alright with that. This looks a little odd now, but I would think we replace that with these. It's going to look off because the angle isn't quite the same. So let's do ramp A doubles. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay with that because this angle is the same as that angle. And in theory, we could actually replace these guys with ramp A doubles and then put ramp D's to connect these two. Let's try it. Let's try it out. Let's see what it looks like. There, like so. Ooh, yeah, I like that. We could even put this here as an uh, under underbite, if you if you will. How's that look? Slick. I feel like I like that. <laughs> I definitely like that. So let's leave that there. I think it's a good rear. 
Ready to clean this up though. Okay, so how do we do this? How do we do this? We put ramp B's, maybe? Ramp C's? Like so. Okay, first things first, we need to cap this off the same way we capped off that side. So we have to go this one. Oops. Like so. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that it cuts out. Now we can put ramp A right here. Now ramp C medium. I like that. I'm okay with that. I know it cuts into these lines, but that's good. Like we have, we want to break up this just a little bit. Let's put a qubit down there. Actually, we want to want to put something here too. Um, how do we stop this up? See, the problem is we just use this. Not sure I like that. See, the thing is, we'd have to use... <sighs> man, oh man, oh man. Like, in order to close this up, we would need to mimic this on this side. So maybe this. All right, let's 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 see it through. All right, let's see it through. Let's do this and. I'm not so keen on that but it does look nice and smooth. Let's, um, how do we close this up? We need one of these. How do we rotate that in place? Um, We need the top right corner to go into the top left corner. So we move that there like that. That. That's not bad, uh, but that's also chonky. Is a chonky bar.
Also, these thrusters can come out. Okay, so what now can fit here? Uh, this? No. It has to be another one of these. We could use this. Or possibly even just this. Then we could maybe just put lights or something in this little space. It'd be nice if it went up to the tip there. Oh, maybe like these guys. No, this is too far in. Well, it's not a bad look, honestly. Not a bad look at all. Because it leaves that little gap there. Oof. Gotta say, that actually looks kind of cool. I mean, this really is the best fit. That's the only real fit. But let's consider other stuff. Like that, because I like seeing that little cut in. Yes, yeah, let's, let's let's plant it. Because we could do something like this, right? God, I hate it when it does that. Like that. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I would like that a whole lot. So we do... We'll figure that out later. Um, these guys can come out... Put steel there just to keep them nice and cozy. Uh, wait, these are smalls, so. Well, this one's kind of sticking out, which is kind of. Mm, no. Maybe we do just one. But they're staggered, and then we can put uh, trusses on there to make it nice and uh, nice. Nice and nice, yes. Command, a perfect command of the English language. Um, okay, so we can put here. We can put a cube. Okay, and we can put another cube here. We're going to start bringing it in, too. So if we're going to mirror some something to this design, uh, we make a ramp A, like so. That leaves us with a bit of a problem, though, in this space. Well, that's not true. We can use... Where's our corner? We can use this. Nope, not that. This. Nope, also not that. We need... This that that 
Skip that one. It's not the same line though. So that's the problem. Maybe it needs to be steeper. Like that. Then we use ramp. Rampy boy. Now for the bottom area, how do we do this? I feel like I want to put that there. But that leaves us with just putting a cube here, which is... Hmm? Is that okay? Is it okay? I think it's alright. It looks okay. That unfortunately hides this angle. Well, I mean, it's not too, too bad. Maybe we use this thin one again. Yeah, okay, that's good. So what do we do here? One of these, maybe? No. One of these. No. I was right the first time. No, it sticks up way too much. It needs to be... I don't think this piece exists now that I think about it. The piece that we want, yeah, does not exist. Oop, maybe this. No, because it needs to come up halfway. See, the problem is it's uneven. Hmm. It would need to be something similar to that, actually. Except instead of terminating in a... Well, actually, no, that, that fits. Because this thing terminates at the corner. Which doesn't look great. I think we may just have to settle for not looking great. Um, if we could have this smoothness on this end, but that's not going to happen. That were the cubes that we got. So, oh, well. I'm okay with these lines. I think they're good. I'm especially, I'm especially liking this bit. We're probably not going to treat the top. I mean, we could put like two channels. Either one thick one that's three wide. You know what I mean? We could put like something up top here that's three wide that goes all the way down. Or we can put one that is. Or put two that are two wide on each of the sides. But I think that ruins this, this, these lines. I think we don't do that. I could give it a mohawk, kinda. I don't know about that. I think we should just put the um, decoration up here. It's time to start this side. Um, I 
Let's put... What do we need over here? We need this. And we need rampage. All the way to the end. And rampage down here too. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what else do we need? This feels weird. You look like ears. I think what we need here are just to cap them off. Um, make him smooth. Let's use you. No, we need you. Like so. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Oh, we didn't figure out what to do here. Uh, we should probably figure that out now. Let's, um... Let's cap that off. Let's do... Okay. I really need a corner piece. Not that. Uh, we need. Hmm. This. Okay. What do we do for this interior? Hmm? I feel like now we should extrude this out, but okay, let's just try and keep these lines. So let's do um ramp C medium. Ramp A and then Cubies. Could just put a ramp here. Like so. It's not very elegant now, is it? Problem is, I don't think there's anything that will. So, like, if we put a one of these guys here, sorry, not that this guy. Is there anything that will place in there? Yes, this. Like so. We have to do the same over here. Now it feels too thick because we want it to start coming in.
Okay, that means we need to put a ramp B here, or ramp A. And that's the end of that. Because now we just, we just need that space to like, we can't put us, we can put, we can't put anything in front of that because we need the space to go into the ship. Um, so what can sit here? I don't think there's anything that can sit in there. Maybe one of these guys? No, that's too, too much. I don't think there is if there is any piece that will fit in there. Maybe something like that. Or this? Something like this, except it's got to be cut off at the top here. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that piece does just does not exist. I think we're forced to do something like this, unfortunately. Or, wait. Wait, we can do this. Ooh. Like so. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. That needs to be open. This is not bad at all. Looks like kind of a uh, bowl cut. Okay, now we should probably start cutting into this. For our thrusters. And the back is still really long, isn't it? I think it's also because we did this flare out. So that's okay. That's just we have to deal with it. Engineering is literally the largest this whole thing so we're forced to have something that big don't like that there's a gap right there sure do wish armor doors were large if you could have two by two Just to kind of keep the, uh, the symmetry, or not the symmetry, but like the the design of it. Most people won't care, won't really see this part, but that's okay. So it's all good. That yeah, gap, gap bugs me. It bugs me. Okay, let's pull this guy out, pop a thruster in there, pop a thruster in there. That might not be far back enough. Maybe we pull these forward one. I 
Alright, let's let's fly it just for a sec. How fast can we go going forward? A hundred? Only a hundred, really? Yep. Almost hit the uh, station there. So we can go fast despite how many engines we have. We can't go super fast, is what I meant to say. Even despite, even despite how many engines we have. Um, this feels a little unfinished. Let's add this. There we go. Is that the right angle? No. That's also not the right angle. Hmm. That ain't gonna work. Alright, you know what? Let's not bother with that for now. Let's complete. It does look a little bit funny that it's bowing out in this direction. Although, we should probably should have done it the other way. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with this look. Makes it feel like a bus. <laughs> Which is exactly what we want. Maybe not a bus, but like a freighter of some kind. Ramp C mediums. Oop. Oh, it's right. Now we. Wait. Okay, we gotta put into these. Ramp A's. So, okay, so when did that change? Oh, we changed because of this. So, how do we make this transition? Let's see, where's our medium, middle, medium point? Maybe you just don't care. Because there's no way to make this transition at all with the blocks that we that exists. Alternatively, we could just change the bottom design, yeah.
Oh, you can just replace it. Oh, jeez. How do we do this? How do we paper this in now? Maybe we use one of these? It's not going to look great though. I think we might be stuck a little bit. Because we don't have this, that shape, this shape right here. Well, this exists, but it doesn't transition well outside of it. This might be our only option. Uh, what piece goes there? Uh, bo 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 bo. I don't think that's going to fit there because that's super thin. Um, it's going to have to be... what? Maybe we just don't put something there. We put like lights or something on that uh, little tiny lip. Because we don't have a piece that's this thin. Well, we'd put one that's here, right? It doesn't have to go all the way to the end. So like this, this guy. Will that fit there? That's ugly. It'd be nice if it was thin. Oh, this might... might work. Oh no, that's way too big. Same with that one. Really don't have any great options because of this. That's not going to work either. Yeah, we have no good options. 
Well, hold on. Yeah, I know. Well, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Nope. <laughs> that's that's disgusting. No. Nope. Yeah, sadly, none, none of these are going to work for us, unfortunately. It was probably better off with that transition we had before. We just don't care about that one piece. Or we goof up on the idea of this plane, right? Of this angle the entire way down. Alternatively, we can just not care and just leave that open. So we could do maybe something like this. You know, like something along these lines. Maybe not quite so harsh. that I think I'm okay with that because then we can put something there yeah all right I'm okay with that Although I still like these lines better. So maybe we just undo all that. Yeah, I think this is the best, still the best solution in terms of these lines. All right, let's, uh, let's close this up. How do we do this? Oh boy. We probably should have mirrored when we had the chance. Okay, well, this. Has to be that. And this one. Okay, so it needs to be this guy. This one. How do we get that in position again? Oh, 
No, it's not that one. It's the... This, this, yes. We need to mirror that down here, right? Or is that already done? No, okay. Now we needed this corner piece? No. Bigger. This this corner piece. Alright. How was this? Okay, so this is going to be another thingy over here. That means this one is going to be... Oh, this guy, again. No, the other one. And then this one's also that one. All right. No, it can't be. Because this has to be a, a ramp B. Let's actually oops, let's put that down. And this one needs to be this fella. And what sits here again? Right. This one. Nope, this one. Nope. Wrong again. Um... Huh. I have all done forgotten. Oh, right. Right, right, right. It's this. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Which one was it? The sliced corner? Okay, wiring. I cannot remember where it is anymore. Corner right. Shit. Oh. No, we're close. Hmm. 
Must be one of these two, right? Must be. PC we use for this. I feel like it should be straightforward. It should be like one of these guys, right? The cut corner half. Oh, you know what? It's because I get it now. Because this is this is the wrong piece. Dumb. I am the dumbs. There we go. That took me way too long to figure out. Do we cut this? That's good. All right, now let's clean up this rear, this rear end, this badonkadonk. I think this one was just a ramp, right? Yeah. This was a plain old cube. A cubie boy. Actually, they're probably all plain cubes. I forget what piece this was. I wish we could just copy, you know what I mean? There probably is a way to copy, I, I have no clue what it is. Alright, let's start from the top. That's actually not that piece we need. We need one of these guys. No, not that guy. We need one of these. Is it this one? No, it has to be cut in. Uh, this guy. Right? No. The heck? Oh, at least one of these. Yeah, it's gotta be one of these. Okay.
Okay, like so. That should be cut corner F B and then core corner C. Core cool. core. Cool, cool. Core cool, core cool, core. Cool. We need one more of these guys. In here. Right? No. No no no. We need this guy. Okay, what was this piece? Oh, we need to do this part too. Oh, not you. You. Right, this guy. Want to use? use and want to use cool and then this piece was oh which one do we use this one that one right no now we need the one that's that comes out more so this guy loop perfect Cool, let's do this side. Uh, this is just a ramp, right? Yes. And then we need the... This piece. Like that? No, the right piece, yeah. Is that what's going on in here? No. We need... One of these pieces. Uh, but which? And that one's just a ramp B. Yep, or ramp A. Yes. Yes, sorry. Actually, we can extrude this guy out. Loop, there you go. Happy days. Uh, we need to style this part too. Okay, this guy 
is one of these. By the notch for right. No. Yeah. Oh, I see. Like, why does it look weird? Live show. Huh. Why does this one look strange? Oops. Oh, because of this. That's right. We need we need that because of this. Um, but we could just delete this guy. What would be placed there though? In its place. I think nothing can. Okay, we'll have to undo this this one. As sad as that is, we have to use the big thicko. <laughs> the big thicko. The big old thicko. Uh, where's that? This guy? Need this little corner piece. Which which one was that? This okay. Okay, cool. And this is just a regular ramp C. Alright. I think that's everything. Now let's put the these thrusters on there. Side where we were on this line. Cool. We're also going to need thrusters in the bottom here, so let's put them... Is that damaged? It is damaged. Okay, let's put the um, let's put one here. Okay, we're going to need one kind of on the center line, or a bunch of thrusters in the center line here. Uh, that we put them behind the center line, like here. Oh, but we can't because there's a door. So it has to be where the, where the captain's seat is? Hmm.
Oh, do we need it? We technically have enough thrust. Look at the big brain on Brad. <laughs> it looks funny. I realize now that yeah, maybe we should have gone down, but it doesn't matter. Like we're going to we're gonna put decoration on this and stuff like that, like wings and stuff, so it's not gonna look quite so blocky up top. Okay, let's just just checking time here. <sighs> what else do we need to do here? I think we're... Oh, we need top side thrusters. Right, we need two, at least two on this line here. We put it in the outer edge. Put it in the outer edge. Ooh. And one over here. I feel like six is not enough, but it is kind of a small cap ship. So it's not incredibly important for it to have a lot of like maneuvering thrusters or very powerful ones anyways. This seems like overkill, gotta be honest. It really does. But I kind of like the way it looks, so we're gonna keep it. I think most of our lines look pretty good, so let's, let's just do a quick once over on the lines and I think the back is a little bit, you know, messy, especially like in these blocky areas here and here, but I think it's okay. I like how it comes together here in the sides and there's a little bit of cut into it. I think the front is pretty good, except for this little transition here from between this higher or less steep slope into a steep slope. Uh, front's good, looks nice and aggressive. I think maybe we pull it forward. Maybe by one. Although the, the nose is already long enough. And in theory, we could just... No, actually, we can't put this back because this is as far forward as... Or as far back as we can make it. I feel like this would look much better if these thrusters were forward one. So let's try it out. Now, do we do all of these as well, or just these medium slants? Um, let's get this one up here. Yeah, I like the way that looks much better. Like, it's 
Like it's nestled in there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We could also turn them inwards so that the slant. Well, see, the thing is, like that mirrors that almost, like these lines. And if we turn them inwards, oops, we put these in the same exact spot, didn't we? Try it again. There we go. And actually, see, let's let's actually try uh, undo undo. Let's just look at it. I don't hate it, but. It doesn't feel quite right. And I think it's because of the turrets. What if we put the turrets on their sides? I mean, I like these lines, right? I like the way this looks. I like the way that this goes together with this. But what if we put this center line down the middle like this, and then these turrets on the two sides here like this and this? Oh, so that's a big old forehead. Just gotta note that right now. I think I like the idea of the turrets being on their sides. Let's, um... Oh, jeez. Question is, can they fit? They can. Oh, but we can't. Wait, hold on. Ooh. That's right, because this was going to be upgrade path so we can't do that it has to be horizontal this is supposed to be t two tier twos if we yep okay okay Sadly. It's all right, so these can be... Oops. Where's our medium thrusters? Medium. Thrusters. All right, 
This is okay. This is okay. I'm okay with that. I mean, we could also bring it out all, all out by one more, right? In order to keep that upgrade ability there and keep it protected. There's also something I want to do here, and that is make a channel. Like so. We could do something similar to these blocks. Like that. That's our view. Ah, it doesn't really change much. Although that gun really is kind of right in the path. Which is why I prefer it to be sideways. Hmm. Okay, I think we do do that. I think we do do that. We just have to move everything forward. Sorry, wait. Taking, doing the long way. Um... Carrots. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Let's actually put ramp C mediums here and here. That's not what I wanted. Is that... So this is the absolute minimum. Um, which is fine. Let's put two regular ramps here, just to um, keep some of that, some of that vibe. Let's put. Oop, we need. One cube right there. All right, now cannons, cannons or mini guns. In the book, they were cannons. I have a feeling that mini guns are much more useful in this game. Let's go with that design choice. Oh, it's like cutting into the sh actual ship there. And since they're turrets, I believe they, they turn, so... Um, let's get rid of this. But I wonder if having them built into it like interferes with their movement. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to test that out. And these two, let's move. Let's move all of this forward by one. Don't 
Can we move these two as well? Or these four? I think we do that. Well, that can probably stay. Just nudge these guys forward. Oops, we need small thrusters. Now we could, in theory, now there's good. All right, let's put these in here. I was going to say, in theory, you could put more thrusters here, like more, like on the sides, you know, for example, for side thrust. But you know what? We're good on that in that regard, so let's not, let's not bother with that. Let's just put our, these guys. Ooh. We still look pretty damn aggressive. Let's um let's put ramp A doubles here. Like so. Or just ramps. Probably just ramps. Look at that. Oh yeah. Although in theory we could put Ramp A, or ramp, yeah, ramp A here. Okay, cool. I like that. I do like that a little bit better. Now what's interesting is, what if we extruded these out by one block, know what I mean? Like if we put them here, what would that make the design? Like would it change anything? Would it make it look more aggressive? Mm, I don't know. Let's leave the front for now. I feel like that's pretty good for me. Um. Like two guns are probably just underpowered for a small, small capital ship like this. I think it's good. I think the length is good. Um, part of me wishes that we could extend this ramp or this this slope in. Like if we started it here and then have it come gradually to the front. But I don't think we have the capability of actually doing that with the blocks that we have, unfortunately. So this is just what we're going to have to settle with. Um, now, let's do some styling with this. Probably put wings on here. So let's put these away. Get some decor. Oh, let's get some truss blocks. We're going to need those to block up. Actually, before we do that, we should probably paint them, huh? Before we put trusses over top. How do we want to paint these guys? Probably plating and purple. Like so.
Sure. Now, what kind of trust blocks can we have in here? Uh, slope. Can we have just like a thin, yeah, like a wall? Like so. I wish we had a, a piece that could fit right there perfectly, you know, but I think all we can do is slopes. So let's do, let's undo these. And let's see what slopes look like. Which aren't bad. Let's keep slopes. Cool. Are there any more that are set in that we need to take care of? Yes, these guys, which I don't think we have triangles, do we? Oh, we do. Nice little corners. They don't extend out all the way. That's kind of cool. I think we might be stuck with this. That's not bad. Not bad looking, but I think the triangle will look better. It actually doesn't look better. Um, those are just gonna have to be open. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. So time like three hours, not bad. All right, let's get some. What do we need here? We need decor. Can we even have decor? I would hope so. There should be like... Well, first let's do um, landing gear. Do we, have, do we have tier 2 landing gears? I think we... Do we? No? I guess that's a no. It seemed like the only landing gear we, can, we have access to. Lame. Let's do... Whoop. Landing gear two, let's put one. Right up front. Let's put an eagle one right in the rear. Right in the center. And then let's have Or do we put some like this? You know, it's it's too much. We have like one pair here, one pair here. Yeah, let's let's take a look. Let's see how that feels. Maybe we put them here. Okay, yeah, yeah. And so I have this one in the middle. Let's just do the quick delete. Put that there. That there. There we go. I got some decent landing gear. Let's stick with that. Um, lights. We're gonna need lights. We're gonna need. What else do we need?
flare. What's a flare? Let's grab those just in case. Um, ooh, hangar doors. We didn't put any spotlights on the ship. We're going to need those. Um, but that's going to be easy to do. We can put that on the center line there. We're going to put a few of them. Uh, let's see. Let's put one right here. Boom. That part's done. Then we can put uh, maybe... Where can we put one of these? Ooh, maybe in the sides here? Or how about here? I don't think any of these really fits. I think it's going to have to be either here and here, or... That's honestly the only place where they can go. Let's turn the lights on. Oh, lights are already on. I think the one should be okay. <laughs> Probably. No, let's take these out. Put lights here. Like so. I should give us plenty of fronts, front. Frontal illumination. Yes, yes. Yeah, what are these? Ooh, that's nice and bright. Get rid of that. What about these lights? What do these do? Just regular lights, I guess? Well, that's also real fucking bright. All right, give me one sec. Gonna take a quick bio break. Be right back. And actually, while we're here, let's uh, switch out the ears, because they're going to run out of battery soon. Whoop. Just smack them out or back them. Whoops there, whoops there, whoops there. Let's 
All right. You're back. Back at your back. Back, back, back. Um, where are we at? Right. Lights. We can deal with lights later. Um, like all of this place is dark as fuck. I feel like these lights are just way too bright. You know what I mean? And look at that. Okay, I think for now let's um let's look for decor. Decor which I'm not I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing any decor. Like lights is about it. Is it somewhere else maybe? For oh furnishings deco. Oh oh radar. General devices, okay. Antennas. Alright, let's grab all this crap. I think we're pretty much good with blocks. Let's put them away. Just so we can fill up our bar with decor. All right, let's look. Oop, that's a big giant fella. Let's look at antennas. Man, that's a, those are those are some chonkers. I mean, these are obviously ma made for bases rather than vessels. Bookshelf. I like how there's all this cool stuff. Which we don't have any room for. Like, I should have actually made a, um, wreck area. But that's, that's too late now. What is this? Console. Oh. Okay, so let's, let's start our console journey back here. Oh no, thrusters are visible in the floor and we can't cover them up okay well that's just what we're gonna have to deal with um is there one on this side too Yes. That's okay. This engineering, I guess it should be kind of sort of visible. So, oh well. We're just going to have to deal. Um, this device is not functional yet. Can be set up with NPC dialogues, access plot one, god mode, invisible, add dialogue ID name, etc. etc. Holographic screens. I think in in the in the book, most screens are holographic, although Federation ships aren't technologically advanced enough to have holographic screens. But I think we should do that anyways, because it looks better. one there. Can we change this color? Let's test it. We can. How cool is that? All 
All right, well. Is there a bigger one? Holographic screen three. I like this one better. Oops, six. There we go. Let's put one of these like cool little things off to the sides. A shame they're not functional. I feel like it should be like here, like that. You know what I mean, so when people come in and walk, like it feels more like a control room. We can probably put like a control here too, just for giggles. Like so. Or, you know, one each. See, that looks nice, doesn't it? They come in, it looks like a proper engineering room with like a hollow display and a freaking desk thing. Yeah, I like that. Um. We don't need any of that crap in here. Okay, just check in. Let's go up, 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 up. Um, we can actually put something like a console over here too. You know, something like this. To make it feel like, you know, like, hey, engineering, cool. Um, let's do one of these here. Okay, we're going overboard with the deco, but I think that's okay. That should be good, right? This feels nice. We have that. This on this side. Whoops. Careful, you can fall. Actually, if you fall down here... Okay, you can still get up. Good. What if you fall here? Okay. I wonder if we could put a, a floor here. We can't put one here, unfortunately, because that's that's this. This is taking up that space. Maybe we could put one here. I don't know. Okay, we can put a console here, maybe. Um, Echo one of these. Small console, station console, uh, large. Ooh, I like that. That looks cool. Why is it red? What the fuck? There we go. Okay, what is this? Is this something that we can console chin? Oh, right. This is for um, NPC dialogue stuff, which we don't need. So. Bloop. Okay, so how do we set up?
Media Center console. Let's go out there again real quick. Let's see what this gun has to say. I need to access control panel from a cockpit or passenger seat. Let's actually look it up. Because <laughs> I don't want to guess. CP or Empyrean. Um, control turret. Wait, what? Add a 1 to the beginning of the turrets group to bring it up to the top of the list. This allows quick P menu, select turret, access fire, back to the pilot's seat. Okay, let's group everything up. Yes. Uh, turret. Active. Shortcut. Oh, is it this? Custom 1? Let's select an actual turret. Oh, access. Like this. Okay. But how? Turret retraction sets you off. Uh, show on HUD. Your best bet is letting the AI do the shooting of your turrets for general combat. Okay, now. Either from cockpit or passenger seat. That's so weird. It doesn't make sense to me what... It wants us to do meeting on turret. They say to double click it, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, okay, from a seat. I see. So, ooh, we have some movement. We're a little bit limited because of our placement, we can't go down much. Okay, so I get it now. Why can't we go down? Why can't we go this way? Is it because of this? These two are probably better up on top, like in terms of coverage. But I think this is okay. I don't know why it can't maneuver down more. It might be getting blocked by something. Let's try that again. Let's actually try it from... This P. See, like I can't go technically left, right? We can go right a lot, but not left. Why is that? See, this is this is far to the right. Sorry, that this can go.
think this is L. Oh, oh, I see. I get it now. It's because the controls are off. I think it might be better to put them back uh, top and bottom. Because, okay, so... To demonstrate, I'm trying to go... down. But the orientation of the gun is actually on its side. So it actually can't go... Okay, so it doesn't matter if I... Oops. You know what I mean? Like it, like, it doesn't count going... See, like this. It's going down in this direction. And it's hitting that. Which is the reason why. It can go up. So yeah, so let us... We're gonna have to redo that. Let's grab these. First, we're gonna need uh, steel blocks, and we're gonna need uh, projectile turrets. We're going to have to get rid of this. Got a lot of hit points. Alright, now let's try this again. Oh, those are cannons. But you know, fine. It's it's fine. It's cool. Let's stick with that. And so this should now allow us to auto group. Yes. Okay. So this is the the one at the bottom. Bling. So we'll call this turret, can of turret, bottom side, and then can of turret, top side. I don't understand what the show on HUD means. Oh, it just puts them on the HUD, that they're actually uh, marked. Okay. Let's not show them on the HUD. There's actually the front bottom side, and there's the front top side. There we go. That's, that's a bit better. Um, because, you know, if we put more turrets, for example, on the actual top top, you know, on, on here, then we're going to need to do that. So, instead of having this, let us have, let's look at the Hmm. We're going to need passenger chairs. Like so, and like so. And what we'll do is we will... Let's have some decorations. Hopefully to put in front. Although, the problem here is it's not going to look very good. Because the consoles are kind of far away from each from the seats, you know what I mean? Like this.
This one might not be bad. Oh, wait, no, it's kind of far as well. Lame. How about this? Nope. Gee, if only we could put them next to a seat, <laughs> right? <sighs> so dumb. Okay, I don't think we have a choice. That's just not going to work. So, no decor for us at all. At all. Um, could we put a screen, maybe? That looks kind of silly. Those are huge. A uh, shame that it's not facing this way. Oh. I, I, hmm. That's extremely lame. Extremely lame. All right, let's get some general devices. Maybe these. Oh, that's going to be up for the outside. Um, you know, this thing doesn't have wings. I notice that there's no wings block. Let's look at pulse laser turret. Okay, I think we might be stuck without anything cool like wings. We're gonna be stuck with just general devices, deco. Now, how big are these things? We're probably going to be large. Okay, stop moving. Thanks. Um, let's get air brakes. Oh, yeah, this guy's huge. I really want to use these. I really, really want to use these. One like so. It's 
it kind of makes it look like it's got fins. Like a fish. Put one here. Where did I put that? Oh, on the little cheek. Like so. We could still put um, some kind of fin of these. That's too large. That's too large. Yeah, I think we can put one, two more air brakes on there. I just really, I've been itching to use these. Oh man, but there's nowhere really to put them. I feel like these two are really good spots for them. Like if we could put them one lower, you know? I mean, we could, we could in theory put them right here. Like so. But it doesn't look doesn't look good there. I think these are these are perfect in placement. I really don't know why there aren't wings. Antenna. That feels too... feels not angled enough. Yeah, I... hmm. Why aren't there wings? Small is called what? Oh, it's just under this one. But there's no... yep, this doesn't have wings. Railings and walkways... Lame. Oh, that's that's a big big old chunk of metal. Alright, anyways, let's do some antenna. That's a little that's not angled nearly enough. Um, if only this could be centered down the middle line, but we can't, since it's two by two. Ah, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Could do intakes, perhaps. Or this kind of intake. This looks better. Like, that looks pretty... Okay. Oh, right. We had stuff in here, but that's all right. We don't have to deal with that right now. I feel like we don't have a lot of options for Greebles.
like I was hoping for wings to kind of help us help this these sides like flare out a bit, but that that's not happening. Um, we could do stuff like this. Give it some character, or maybe this. Not bad. We could add two more here. What about the massive armor plates? No, that's too large. Um, what about these guys? Maybe intakes? Let's figure out the top later. Let's do... I feel like the best way to to achieve what we want is to do something like this. Let's put one here and one over here. And then we put air brakes back on top, almost on top, um, like so, oops. The sides. So. I know it's a lot of stuff, but I feel like that's the only way to convey any kind of width for the, the ship. Oops, that's a little too far forward. There we go. Is it too close to that? I think it's okay. It's not the widest thing, but you know, it's okay. It it works. It works. Um alternatively we could put two here, right? Like that. And then remove these. Like so. Oops. So we can push this one back a bit. Yeah, back up against that, and then this up against that. I think I might like that better. Then we can put... Um, like so. What we can do here is remove these two. Although I do like with that that position, um, we could put antenna down here, maybe. Or you know what? We can put antenna here. Oh, it's too far. Dang! If it was one. If it was back one, that would be great. We could theoretically cut into it. Let's look. Let's see what happens. So, four. Mm, I don't hate it. Gives it a kind of, you know, vibe. But mm, it's not bad. Let's keep it there. Let's keep it there for now until we hate it, then we'll remove it. Um,
We can also set this lower, right? Lower and forward. Like so. Ooh, that might be that might be good. Oh, but we can't do that here because it's gonna get well it's not really in the way, but it is there. I'll have to put it back a bit. Right on the thrusters. Also, I don't like these anymore. They don't look very attractive. I think it's just okay for it to be set in like that. I don't know. Like, these two being too close to each other sucks. Or maybe we do... Oops. Yeah, that's that's good placement. And it'd be nice to have something here. Okay, we can just put a, that Greeble back, I suppose. Um, the arrow blister. Or we can put the, this this one. Where does that go? So one forward of this. Yep, I don't like this. We could try a fin, right? Oh, the fin might be better down here. Like so. Oops. Okay, what are you all... Oh, god dang it. Oh, there's a piece missing, that's why. It's not bad. It's okay looking. Like, if, what if we did, like, two? Or... What if we did one of that, and then one of... These. Is that too much? Or if I put this forward? I 
I think it looks okay. It's not fantastic, but it gives like vibes that this is something, right? And this this feels kind of naked now, so let's put a streak. One of these. Wait, what? Oh, this is too far forward. You know what we could do? This is actually too many greebles at this point. Let's remove this, 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 and this. Let's actually clean it up a bit. And let's let's give it a little bit of like this, right? To make it seem like I kinda like that. I really kinda like that. And then we can put the space break on there. Yeah, let's put it back. Let's put it up against this. And then we can still do a light. It's actually not bad. All right, let's look at other stuff. Um, Um, I like that there. Okay, let's let's mimic that on this side. You know, what, let's actually let's see if this fin looks okay here. Yeah, because I like I like this being there. I like this, and then the space break. I feel like that looks nice. So let's try and do the same thing over here. There you go, and air break up. I think we overlapped. Did we? We did not. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I wish we could better convey width on this thing. And I want to swap these two. So let's get this out of the way, that out of the way. And then do fin one. Yeah, is that okay? Can we even fit this on here? Yes, we can. Oops. Mm, I don't hate that, but... Oops. Okay, what else can we do here? Uh, we could put stuff like this on the bottom side. Uh, 
or yeah, like something like that. It adds stuff like this. Intakes would be interesting here too, like here at the end. Like so. Although, looks backwards. Yeah, that looks that looks a little better. Let's put three. Why not? And let's actually mirror that up here. Let's put three up here. Oh, but we kind of can't because it's, it's not at the edge like this one is. So maybe we do these intakes. Looks kind of weird there, though, doesn't it? Sure, that works for me. And, oops. What else can we put up here? Deco, art deco plates, or armor plates, sorry. Yeah. Ooh, these could go well. Where's the rear? There we go. One there. Top sides feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Um, these antennas are too tall. Could put more air brakes, I suppose. But I don't know if that looks good. That's not going to look good, no. We could put these blisters, or these, these guys, like somewhere in the middle here. Like so? Actually, where's the door? Okay, let's put them... That? Sure. <laughs> Man, what a funky shape. But you know what? I'm okay with this. Like, it's supposed to feel bulky. I kind of wish it... Hmm. I wish this was a little bit higher, like the, the cockpit. And then our electronics could be like one higher, but I think we're good. Space bus. I feel like these could be even further forward by one. Or like nestled inside here. Ooh, let's try that. Oop. Let's try fin three. Ooh, I like that. It looks nice. Nicer. Although it's kind of in the way of the lights. Yeah, we could do, we could just take these out. Let's, um...
Let's replace them with just ramps, I guess. I could put just three lights right next to each other. Uh, put up light blocks. Where you at? Cool. We are illuminated. Yeah, I don't. I don't hate that. I think it is good, or good-ish. Um. I suppose we can start painting. Oh man, it's going to take a long, long time to paint this. And I wish you could put... Oops. I wish you could put Greebles on this angled plane. You know what I'm saying? Like instead of just the four, card, the four directions. I wish you could put it here. Along this line. But we can't... Sadly, sadly. Um, anything else? We could put like... No, I think we're good in terms of blocks. All the lines would look okay. I'm still not happy with this, but that's Fine. Could put something here, but that's going to interfere with... Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll interfere with Captain's view. Put a ramp A in here. Oops. Um, like so. That way we're keeping these lines. Yeah, part of me, now, now that I know that there's no wings for this, that we can't really flare these out, part of me wishes that we reverse these slopes so that it's a steep slope down here and then a long slope down here, or up here. But, oh well, live and learn. Next capital ship we make is going to be a little bit better. This is just, you know, the first cap ship ever, and it's small. Oh, that was weird. I think we're good here. With yeah, let's, start, let's start painting. I think we should probably go with dark gray, maybe. Let's get a much darker gray than this. Let's go to 70. Let's go 75. Nope. That's not what we want. Let's go even lower. 30 something. That's too dark. Oops. Everything got painted nice. Okay. 
Well, that's a good start. Although we didn't want to paint everything. How did this stay not... I guess stuff that was already painted didn't get changed, which is nice, I suppose. Then we can just do um, highlights. Oh, it didn't take. It didn't take this the texture. We have to do that anyways. Oh, okay, that sucks. Is there um? Oh boy, that's a lot of paintings. What is this? Oh, repair bay. Okay, everything looks mostly uniform. Let's keep going. Let's just scour. Let's look for messed up textures. Like that. Oh, the entire ceiling. Do we want to do something with this, or is this good? Let's leave that for now. All right. I suppose we can just start painting the insides. Um, how do we want this to look? Do we want it to look bright? Let's turn that off. Let's do small again. Like, what if we did, like, brighter floors? Oh, it's too large. Oh boy, that's a bit much. What's medium? Um, I don't know about this color. It's not bad. Okay, let's actually let's color coordinate the rooms. I think engineering should be white, like this bright ish color. 
um, just because it fits that aesthetic more. I think the, the equipment should stay this, like, duller, darker gray. Change? Thanks. Um, let's actually do... Yeah, no, it's fine. I don't want to accidentally uh, make the outside, you know, color coordinate as well. Let's do this guy and this guy. Actually, wait, the thrusters are changing. Oh, no, you suck, thrusters. You suck. These are forever going to be dark-ish on the inside. Damn it. Which really kind of throws off the room. Because these are going to have to be dark, and that's dark. Oh, you suck. Oops. So, okay, maybe we just make the engineering dark? I don't like that idea. I like, the, I like it being brighter. We just have to deal with it. I think we're just going to have to deal with it. Sorry. Says the Pentaxon tank. Oh boy. I mean, painting isn't a bad thing. It's just, it's just tedious, you know, because, you know, gotta do this. <laughs> just takes time, and, um, yeah, just takes time. A little diligence to make sure we're getting all the surfaces. Oh, and this. Which actually we can do um, all around here. Oop, oop, oop. What we can do here is we can do uh, 
Uh, how about we do bright purple lighting? Does this look good? Like so? No, I think we do light blue lighting. Like that. Oof, that doesn't look good now. How about this? Is at least the tiles better? Yeah. Let's make you back to gray. What else did we accidentally hit? This guy. Gravity gen. Control station. Okay, we're good. Ooh, this needs to be... Actually, we should keep this... Oh, that's that not that. That. There we go. Happy days. I like this interior look. Can we change this color? Let's try. Let's try and make it... Um, which blue do we use? We used this blue, right? Maybe it's this blue. No, it's this blue. Right on. That looks fancy as fuck. Ooh, but this... Mm. That's alright. That's okay. We'll have to just deal. Like this color, this color looks great. This color does not. All right, now let's change these. Um, what should the cargo grid look like? Like plating? Like so? I think that's too gray. We need to change this to a different color, like this maybe. Blue, is that too blue? Brown? We can make it purplish. But like if everything is purple in here, it's gonna look really a bit much. Oh. Like if we're gonna use purple, it's gotta be highlights here and there. Um, do orange maybe? Is that garish? Garish? Maybe if you do a top layer, that's orange, just like this, but the rest of it a different color.
Like, I'm okay with the floor looking like concrete almost, but... Like, what if we did like this gray? I don't like that. Like, I'm okay with the orange, this orange. Just not the texture necessarily, but see, now it looks like concrete, which I don't really want it to look like concrete. I want it to look like technical and stuff. That's too much. That's also too much. That might not be too bad. That one's okay. I'm okay with that. Now about the lower part though, what do we do for that? What matches with orange? Like blue? Bluish? Nope, that's too different. I think we keep the gray. Then what we do is we change the colors of everything else. You know what I mean? Like the components can be something else. Um, it's like maybe if these are orange, let's give them... Can we change their design? No. See what I mean? Like if it if it contrasts against the gray pretty nicely. Let's try it out. Ooh, yeah. Oops. Let's not apply a texture and just the color. Ooh, that way. Okay, yeah. So we we color coordinate according to box. Yeah, yeah. So let's do this one green. Again, no textures, that one, like that. To say, like, this belongs to that, and so on and so forth. This one can be brown, or is it dark red? I think Orin Wood's dark red. See, but now, the problem here is it, because it, it blends into the... I think it's because these textures are too much. How about... Oops. Okay, I feel like this... The floor should be like that. Instead of like clean... Oh, that's right. There's an arrow here. Um, you know, like this, so it feels like it's dirty. Lived in a bit. I should have like this one being con concrete. Just the floor needs to be different.
Can't see that. Can't see that. Nice. Like, you see the problem now, though, right? Like, this... Oh, man. I don't know, maybe this is okay. Maybe it's too... It matches this color too much, so maybe we should change the shade of it. What if it's yellow? No, it's too much. We need to go darker. What if we did green? No, because then it'll match this. We don't want to do that. Light green? No, it's too festive. I think we're okay there. Okay, what do we want to color this back here? This should feel adequately dark. I'm actually okay with this color scheme, though could change it to something else. Um, maybe a brown. We can use... I don't like that being the floor, maybe on the sides. Not what I mean, like this. Let's change this to something like this. There we go, that feels a little more technical. What do you do here, though? Like these? Cannot see the floor. Really wish we could see the floor here. Same with this one. Okay, but we're just gonna have to settle. Um, actually, let's make this that to signify that it can be deleted or destroyed, or like for upgrades and stuff. Like if they wanted to, if the player wants to put T threes, and they can do that for these two blocks. Let's actually make that uh, all the way around. Alright, now let's do wires and stuff. Does this look better? Or does something like this look better? Perm. Let's go with this. Oh, it won't change that look. Interesting. Okay, that's okay. What about the ceiling? What can we do here? Uh, vents? I think the gray looks okay, instead of having like... Yeah, 
That's not bad. Let's do... Or you know what we can do? Let's keep going with the vents. Okay, it's a, it's a good one. Ah, uh, that one's blocked. That one's blocked. Wait, no. I can just see it. If we can just see it there, then we should be able to just see it here, too. But, nope. Never mind. Um... This looks adequately technical, right? Okay, how do we do the ceiling in here, though? Is this concrete, very concrete look? Okay. I don't know if it looks good, to be perfectly honest. But, um... We're just gonna have to deal. Because, like, it's it blends into these... Well, this needs to be orange, right? Orange. This block shouldn't be orange. This should be... a light... Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm not, I don't hate it. Ceiling, hmm. If you go back to this and then this, that might be too much though. What if you did this? I'm um, gonna be honest with you, I think I like that quite a lot, and I wanna put that there instead. looks much much nicer um, we can do a strip of that too there but that looks odd doesn't it because this is like so This is good. I like I actually like that this texture. Okay, now this part. I think this should be light and airy, so probably blue. Is that too blue? Hmm. 
Okay, I have an idea. We put this like that leading into the cockpit. But this should be a different color than like that. I think the gray ceiling is good, but the walls need to change. Um, maybe we do that again. But we do what color? Green? Darker blue? Or we maintain the same blue? No, 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 no. On the walls. Like so. That looks nice. Okay, let's change this and that. Let's just make this entire hallway this kind of bluish like you are now descending into the captain or it's into the cockpit sort of deal i like that shift change and actually that shift change that change i like that change um this should now be what does this look like i like that let's keep that I think we just do this, we just give it this treatment of blue. Unfortunately, we can't really, well, we can do these, but the rest of it we can't because it'll, you know, spill out over there. Um, It's also ridiculously dark in here. Actually, maybe we do like that. Or actually, yeah, like that. Ooh. Nice. Do the seats have nope nope they can't you can't change them that's that's the seat ah I want to look at this again like that no Okay, yeah, that's good. Gives us a nice little contrast to break up the ceiling and floors. Although I kind of want to put a texture on the floor. Maybe that? No, that feels too utilitarian. I think that's good. I 
We can mirror it here too. Mm, that doesn't make sense. I think the color is fine. The texture is good on the, on the ground. This We should probably do something similar with this, right? We want to have like kind of a walkway. So let's do this gray. And this one brown. I just want to unify the quote unquote places to step that they all look the same. Uh, that one can be, oh, let's actually do something like this. No, how about this? Yeah, I like that. How about this one? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And we want to do the same thing for up here. That way it looks like some kind of cool technical thing, right? Um, let's put... Something like this. Is that too busy? I think that's better. It's not quite as busy. I definitely like the way this turned out, this room, the engineering. And I do like this, mostly. I feel like this texture isn't quite right. Um, maybe this should be what this texture is. That's not really a place you can step, so let's change that to something more technical like that. So it feels like... We also need to change the component colors here. Let's make this brown to make it um, match. Let's make all of it brown. Uh, though I kind of like the CPU being like this, so maybe not. Oh, used this, so let's let's do the same. Maybe we do everything green, the same green as this, instead.
Oh man, that makes it too close in color to this, but that's alright. Let's, let's not care about that too, too much. I think I'm pretty happy with that. We make the ceiling green too. Oh, sad. I think the downstairs walkway should be this texture, and then the upstairs texture should be different. I think this is perfect. I think it's classy without being overbearing. I think everything's a pretty good color. Everything. All right, let's auto group everything. Coolio. That's definitely way too dark in here. Uh, what we need is lights. That's not nearly enough. It doesn't even look like it's on, does it? Um, how about we do like a blue? Ooh. Oops. Undo. Want this one? Let's turn actual. Lights, our actual shoulder light on. So there isn't a whole lot of light in here. Like putting an actual light in here would just make it super, super bright. Uh, let's do some, something similar here. But instead of doing... Let's do a white. Is that incredibly bright? Like what? See, the problem is it still feels dark because there's no actual light. But the lights we get are just so, so much. See, like, look at that. Like, can it not be that bright, please? Like, that is un out of control. How much light does that actually give us? Actually, that's pretty decent. Actually, to get a better sense, we need to look at it from here. Oh, we can't put one in the middle. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, it's pretty bright down there. What if we did these ones instead? So it's because like this seems like it's overbearing. It's a little too blue. It's not too bad, to be perfectly honest. I think this blue is perfect down here. It's just two lights is too much. So we do kind of need it, don't we? Why do I have to be so bright? Why? Can we change this color? Can we like make it... Nope, we can't. Okay, and here let's make it super bright. Ooh, that's going to look weird, isn't it? leave that dark and instead let's actually put um fats on there That's just to signify, hey, um, upgradable area. It'll look kind of weird. It looks kind of weird right now. Not sure if I like that. Actually, it's fine. It's fine. It's good. these up here, which we can't do, um, what on the walls? Can't really.
Actually, I don't like that in there. This should be cool and dark, you know what I'm saying? Like, people who go in here have to, like, turn on their lights to look around. Um, I think everything being green is kind of off-putting, but I think it works. Right. This doesn't work, though, because it looks like it's part of this room. So let's change this to maybe red. Like, I know that's red, but... Let's change this to brown. Cool. I, I'm okay with this, this color scheme, this schema. Um, that should probably be this and this. Oops. Like that. Yep, I don't that's not bad. I like this. I like this setup now. This feels extremely clean. We should probably change the floor pattern for this. So let's make that the... Um, I should change this back. Nope, not that one. This one. This one can also go back to this. Oop. Same with that. You could do all the floors that have components with... Maybe that's overkill? I feel like this is enough to indicate that this goes here and stuff goes up there. Specifically for the ceiling. Stuff that's attached to the ceiling should be marked off like this. I don't like that. Okay, that's better because it's uh, parallel to the wall. But it still feels kind of weird. I think I prefer that. Maybe not that bright. Yeah, more like that. Let's look one darker. Hmm. Nah. I think that's good. This feels a bit much too, so let's let's bring this down a bit. Um how about this? Oops. Cool. 
color do we use for that? This one? Yeah. I feel like that's too busy now at this point. Um, how about... No, that's the walls. Um... Okay, I think that's okay. It's not too jarring. The floor doesn't seem like it's... Like, it doesn't seem technical in, a, in, a, in any kind of sense. Um, what's this look like? Oh, this looks good to me. That feels like it's way too much. That one's not bad. It's like it still feels like you're gonna trip, trip and fall like in, in this room. That's just such the concrete look. It's kind of plain, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I think we end the stream for now. Uh, we've been going for almost five hours, so that's not a bad, bad stopping point. Um, Oh, cool. Guys, spin-ins. Um, I'm okay with the way this is shaped. We'll have to do an exterior paint uh, some other time, maybe tomorrow. Or maybe not, I don't know, because I think I'm going to start streaming in Shrouded. Which... Oh, why is this guy? Yeah, I want to start streaming in Shrouded. Um, because as much fun as this game is, it's like no one, no one's really watching. It's very, very few people actually coming in here. And most of who do are lurking, which is totally fine. I don't really care about lurkers. But it's like, I kind of want to like talk to people and no one's really chatting, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're going to switch over to Enshrouded, get a bit more, I was going to say, engagement you know like kind of, that's what i want to do and yeah so hope you all enjoyed so far i'm um, just creating this it's good this is going to be up on the workshop so at some point i'm gonna call it like actually we can call it something now we'll just have to we'll call it the orbis amelia I don't think we can fit the entire name, which is the spirit of Amelia. Oh, we can. So we'll just, yeah, we'll do Arbor Spirit of Amelia. Orbis Industries. And this is going to be the Orb Amelia. And 
and then we'll you know we'll i'll do a paint job and add any last minute stuff and then upload it up to the the workshop so that y'all can use it i do want to reverse that though but it's all right i feel like that's a lot of work at this point and let's not let's not bother with that yep anyways hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all monday peace